Hi, this is Phil Lawson from AppSense here to give you a run through of how you can use Application Manager to log a user on as a non-admin and elevate them into the console's applications and commands they require for their role and also give them access to perform functions stop, such as stopping and starting services on, on the server. So we're going to focus in on a role that um, quite a lot of people are going to be familiar with which is the SQL um, or the DBA admin. So I'm currently logged on to a server SQL-1 as an admin in one session on the left hand side there and on the right hand side I'm logged on as um, just a standard DB user that they are a non-admin on this server currently so uh, I'll just prove that by um, running there and you can see I've not, not a member of any admin group and if I was to do something such as as simple as changing the date and time I'm prompted for UAC okay um, if I try and do uh, stop and start the uh, SQL server agent service it blocks me from doing so if I do it from here it appears to stop but it won't stop because um, I don't have the rights to do so um, if I launch the reporting services console it will uh, it, it will attempt to connect but again I'm getting errors trying to connect I want to do something like getting to the failover cluster um, set side of things to look at the um, the cluster setup again it's saying you require elevation to do so uh, so I can't really I can't do anything that I really need to do on this server um, as a, a SQL DBA so this is where we introduce uh, the application manager side of things so I won't go into the config in detail but all these um, settings you can see in front of here all these settings are being used to give the SQL DBA the right back to elevate into the console's applications and commands uh, that require. So an example of a console is the um, the cluster admin console which I'm highlighting there, the failover cluster MMC. Uh, an example of a command is the SQL uh, cmd.exe, that's how we give the rights back. And an example of a uh, service is the SQL based services I'm highlighting there. So once we uh, turn the service back on, the AppSense Application Manager service, we turn it back on on the server, you'll see the end result. So you'll see the service never actually stopped, it just carries on running. So I'm going to have to close that console. So now the Application Manager service is running on this server, we can now enjoy all the benefits of that. And for example, I'll, I'll go in now and stop the service. So it should allow me to stop and start the um, SQL Server service um, while that's happening I'm just going to close the failover cluster manager and again you'll, you should see now it just allows it to launch there's no um, problems with me doing so so I can manage my um, the setup there you can see that I've got uh, between the two servers um, and you can see the service has stopped now, so I can start it. Um, in fact, you saw me before try and stop and start the service from the console. See as the service is actually starting up there, you can see by the red uh, icon there. So I just have to wait for the service to completely uh, start up, which it has. So it should if I refresh. Yeah, there we go, and it's going to give me the ability to start the service now on the server. Um, the reporting services, you saw I was prevented from uh, running that up, so I'll just relaunch, and I'm in, as expected. And I could go through all the various consoles and show you the same thing happening, but essentially it's given me the ability to... Um, to, to run on the server as a non-admin and get all the required rights I need on the server. Um, so it's a very quick run through. Um, check out the blog, check out the longer detailed videos to explain how we get into this position using group policy. Um, but that's a very quick run through and I hope you enjoy it. Thank you.